In this problem, we're told what is the change in internal energy of a system which does 4.5 times 10 to the 5 joules of work, while 3 times 10 to the 6 joules of heat transfer occurs into the system, and 8 times 10 to the 6 joules of heat transfer occurs to the environment. So in this problem, we're going to use the first law of thermodynamics, which basically tells us the change in the internal energy is equal to Q, which is the heat in or out, minus the work. So in this problem, right, let's just go ahead and start. So we're solving for... Uh, the change in internal energy so we need to find q and w so let's just start with w first because it's only going to be one number so w they're telling us the system does 4.5 times 10 to the 5 joules of work so w is the work and since the system is doing the work it's going to be positive so it's going to be minus and then 4.5 times 10 to the 5 uh, joules of work right and so if some if work if the work was going to be done on this system it would be negative but since the system is doing the work itself uh, it's positive so just keep that in mind and then for the next part keep in mind it's going to have three joules of heat transfer occurs into the system and then eight joules out so if it occurs into the system it's positive and if it occurs out of the system it would be negative right so if the heat transfers out so what we can do is just add both of the numbers so the three is going to be positive so three times ten to the six is positive and then the other one is going to be negative so eight times ten to the six this is negative and the reason is, is because it's leaving the system. But yeah, so uh, you can just pretend these are in parentheses and they just represent this Q. So really it's just minus five times 10 to the six is the sum of the heat, right? It's leaving, my, or five is leaving basically, or five times 10 to the six is leaving. But yeah, so all you gotta do is just add these now. So go ahead and take out your calculator, three times 10 to the sixth, and then it's basically minus eight times 10 to the six. And then you're gonna do minus, 4.5 times 10 to the sixth. And so when you go ahead and do this, it equals minus 5, 4, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So minus 5.45 times 10 to the sixth. So this right here is going to be uh, your answer, so the change in internal energy. Uh, but yeah, so this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful. Uh, I forgot to include that your answer is going to be in joules, so just keep that in mind.